In this problem, we're being asked to graph what's called a piecewise defined function. And all this really means is that um, the function is broken up into some distinct parts, and you'll get a different set of instructions on how to graph each part of the function. In this problem, we have a function called g of x, and we have two conditions. If x doesn't equal 0, so when x is not 0, the function is at negative 2. When x equals 0, the function is at 3. And when I say the function or g of x, you can think of that for graphing purposes as y. So actually, let's look at this part first because it's a little bit easier. What this means is if x equals 0, then y is 3. Well, that's easy enough to graph. x is 0, then y is 3. We can make a, a dot there. Now, what about this part? the function, or y, is negative 2 if x doesn't equal 0. That means every other x value uh, on this graph, you're going to have the, the y value be negative 2. What that's going to be is a line like this at negative 2, and it's going to come up to the, the y-axis, but it's not going to touch it. So we'll show that with an empty circle here. And then it's going to continue on with all these positive uh, x values going off like that. But just imagine that's a straight line. So this would be the graph of this piecewise defined function. You'll get other piecewise defined functions where it might be broken up into three or four parts. It'll say if x is less than or equal to, or if x is less than some, fun some, some value. And remember, the less than or equal to, or greater than or equal to, you're going to have solid dots. And for the just plain old less than or greater than, you're going to have empty dots. Uh, but otherwise, just take each of these pieces, put it up on the graph, and um, you should have uh, not too much problem with that. So that's some work on graphing a piecewise defined function.